I just cut out five pair of shanks and I needed a pair of cutter shanks. This is the 10 pattern that I've got there. What I'll do now is belt send, belt send that with 80 grit belt on both sides there, clean that up, and then I'll use the Sterrett layout die, daub a thin coat on there, let that dry and set up good, and then I'll use a scribe or a, a sharp awl to mark around the tin pattern or the cardboard pattern, whichever I'm using at the time. Um, there's the number four style, that's a tin pattern. Takes a little longer to uh, profile a pair of those because of the little nub there, the little shaft guard. On the um, gooseneck shanks here, it takes a little effort to get those shaped up. Um, you'll spend a little extra time over what a pair of these uh, cutter shanks take. And then this lady's shank here that I'm building this custom pair of spurs that has a shaft guard, it'll take a little extra time to kind of get that cleaned up. I'll use a hacksaw and maybe a file and then uh, I'll profile the perimeter there with a uh, 40 grit belt on this big 2 by 72 grinder I got. So there's the five pair of shanks I just cut out. There's the uh, heel bands for the men's uh, cutting horse spurs.